Whiskey allegedly paid $24.5 million to perform in Saudi Arabia. Ah, Nigerians. We could not even use more small in the call numbers. You know, they call $24.5 billion as if not $24.5 billion. You know, they call $24.5 million as if not twenty as if not $250 million. Abba. We could not they use small, small. We could not they use, we could not they use that church money, they call money. Ah, ah. Beyonce said, nobody collect this kind of money for Saudi Arabia before. Even at, at the private party in Dubai, you don't see no collect this kind of money. Taylor Swift, never collect this kind of money before for performance. Michael Jackson, never collect them before. Ah, whiskey, now we will collect 24.5 million US dollars. So, no more than 24.5 million US dollars. Let me say that is about. Uh, 20, let me say, let me just say approximately 26 billion naira for just an hour performance. Ah, oh. no, be the same show uh, Chris Brown performed for yesterday. No, be the same show Kanye West one performed for a few days today, today as well. No, not this of the company. 24.5 million US dollars. You know, things in a small change. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, God go really punish. Please say God go punish the person waiting this lie, and the person will post them. Ah, you know that the stuff will come money. Twenty four point five million US dollars. That is one Nigerian ministry a whole year budget. Ah, you know that the stuff will come money. You know that they fear God now. You just sat down and be like, okay, how much, how much, how much I will think about. Just post it. For Saudi Arabia. Ah. For just one hour show. Beyonce never collect that kind of amount. Can you wear that's about to perform there? The same stage. Oh. That kind of money you never collect. So like so the Saudi Arabia are just getting money to be true like that. Ah. We could not suffer. If you say one million US dollars, say hey, I will say okay, no wala. Hmm? We could not suffer. Ah. <laughs> now wow. <laughs> ah. You guys should be extremely careful with the way you call numbers. So, we don't go put a uh, well whiskey for wala one day. Maybe those. Kidnap us or don't see this guy money, don't just go kidnap, kidnap one of the whiskey sister. And before you know it, they'll call the demand of hundred, they'll call the demand hundred billion dollars, then hundred billion uh, naira or twenty billion naira. I think it's a one show for whiskey, maybe whiskey collect for Saudi Arabia now nah, twenty four billion naira. Abba, Abba, eh? don't put people in trouble over some things they don't even. Over some things, they are not able what, and you automatically you just didn't see the water. You just put person call numbers anyhow. I mean, that that number is false, really, really false. Any kidnapper made they think they were going to lie. Oh, that number, that lie. Oh, on behalf of whiskey, is a very big lie. You know, reach that kind of amount. But if they say one million US dollars, eh, I may mean, I agree. Or if you say 1.5, I will say I agree also. But come on, man. 24.5 million, 24 million US dollars. That is, that is, ah, ah. Like, so the Saudi Arabia can't get the money rich. Hmm? Now you guys better be careful with such numbers. For me, I don't go land busy for trouble. Best to just stand up, just write rubbish like that. Hmm? And um, because it's a whiskey, they wear uh, designers, everything. Like, what is it? People should take it careful. Machala, I beg. It and me, I go issue a statement. You guys should take it careful with this kind of numbers you guys are calling that I'm receiving. You guys should take it really, really careful. 
Eh? Saudi Arabia get money and they get more money to spend. But not be like that kind of money. Understand? You guys should be extremely careful with that kind of numbers you guys are calling. Not to put people in big trouble. Hapa. Can you, how can somebody just make such a number up? I just make such number up. Boom. Uh uh. <laughs> so, guys, so check this. Uh, there was this thing I want us to discuss. First, let's discuss about Sheokuti. I never knew Sheokuti never believed in God. But he was interviewed recently and he said, ah, you know, belief say this, oh, what maybe they see so say that one person somewhere great and more. This thing. <laughs> Final question Do you believe in God? No, no, no. Call me that. I All mean, right. it's not in the concept that people believe in, like this what, guy what's... watching everybody will judge you when you die. What, do you, what's, what concept do you believe? But you, you believe know. that there's something all right, responsible for the creation of. No, 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 no. You no. don't. I don't think anything created. I mean, who wants to create this? Who, I mean, if somebody actually created this, are we supposed to be giving that person credit right, exactly. for creating this? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you know, like eighty percent of the human beings are living in hunger. I was supposed to be his most prized possession. Come on. So you don't believe that there is a God? In the concept that people believe of God, but there is something, but it's not the way we are told that it is. All right, that's his perception. <laughs> He said there is something, but it's not the way that we were told it, it is. Ah, oh, wow. Well, everybody is free to believe. And so, someone said, even Fela didn't believe in God, and he was a traditionalist, so I don't blame you. But I know he will show himself very soon to you, bro, even if you don't believe in him. See, uh, even looking at the way human beings, even looking at your hand and check how complex your skin is. Eh? Looking at the newborn baby to check how complex. Even plants, eh? human being is so complex. Looking at a plant to see how it grew. There must be definitely be something behind that uh, thing. Who made it? Who designed it? A scientist somewhere who designed it. Who designed it and put things together? I beg, come on, man. One of the worst things that can happen to a man is just to live his life, his or her life freely, and not think about any other thing about himself or no go deeper into. Well, that is what he believed, though. And uh, I think nobody has the right to change his belief. But whoever God wants to guide, God will definitely guide that person. And who God doesn't want to guide, God will not guide that person, no matter how you talk it. So I believe he's going to get his own truth from anywhere. But come on, man. There is something, something, something within this whole creation. There's something above this heart. You know, there is something, something, something. You know, I don't blame him, though, because of the way preachers are preaching and me why. They are the one doing most of the discrimination. The preacher man will tell you, serve the Lord, donate a tithe. And meanwhile, the preacher man will go out with his very uh, exclusive Jeep and the security. And meanwhile, you that have donated, you go home looking for a bike. You know, all those kind of things will kind of like discourage you. It is, uh, it is there really God. But those people are mad. If you start seeing them as God, now you they do yourself. And God will also punish you for seeing all those men as God. Uh, he's not going to spare you. God will not spare you. He not going to spare you for you not to learn, for you not to read, for you not to search on by yourself. He not going to spare you. Hmm? He will spare our fathers, our great, 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 great grand grandfathers before even Islam or Christian get to their own Christianity or any, any religion. He will, he's going to spare them because they do not know. But not you. That I have the idea of some books and you know it. Well, let's talk about uh, Facebook our founder, Mark. So, check out this headline. They say Mark Zuckerberg reportedly building 100 million US dollars Hawaii compound with a massive other grand bunker. If you notice, eh, any billionaire currently who has so much money, 
they are all building a underground bunker. I don't know why they are building an underground bunker. Is it that something is about to happen very, very soon that we do not know about? Because those billionaires, rich people, they great bunker. Like, I'm not talking about normal underground. I'm talking about something that is, that is as deep as, let me say, uh, it's as deep as 20-story building under the ground with massive protector, ions. It cannot collapse. It's as deep as that under the ground. And the reason why they usually do that is because they are expecting a, a nuclear war or something, something is about to happen. So all those billionaires, you guys are, of course, I know you guys, some of you has, uh, who have for stand information about the world. Please, you guys should let us know if there's anything coming very, very soon. So that me, I'll go village, go to the ground now on my own since I don't get money. Go to the ground now on my own since I don't get money. You no? Know? Please let us know. Please.